Roadster owners living in frigid climes often tuck away their cars for the winter. Doing so extends the life of the convertible top, prevents road salt corrosion, and saves the interior from slush and grit contamination. Winter storage also saves the driver from the pain of a chilly cabin, wind whistling past weather seals, and flapping canvas racket. But what if your Roadster is your only ride? Then you have little choice but to don mittens, mount winter tires, and tough out the frosty months. Or you could cast your lot with a Mazda MX-5 Miata RF, which offers two Seat convertibility year-round. In our eyes, this is a target with sale panels. But since Porsche is understandably reluctant to share its registered target trademark, Mazda had to coin its own name for this version of the fourth generation MX-5 Miata. It went with RF, code for retractable fastback. The RF costs $3,005 more than a soft top in Grand Touring Gym and $2,755 more as the club version. There's no base sport model in the RF like there is on the soft top. Our club test car had a base price of $32,430 and was optioned with the $3,400 Brembo BBS package consisting of 17 inch BBS for jid aluminum wheels, proximity entry and Brembo front rotors and calipers. That yielded an entirely reasonable $35,830 bottom line. A port installed appearance package available separately for $800 and consisting of a front splitter, a rear spoiler, side axle extensions, and a rear bumper skirt, all finished in bright black, is included with the Brembo package. We also tested a Grand Touring model which rang in at $33,795, the only option being $300 metallic paint. The power operate op equipment affects subtle changes in the Miata's driving dynamics. Trips to the test track and our local back road route gave us the pertinent details you'll need to pick the top style that's best for you. The Club RF shown in these photos is the 6th generation MX-5 we've tested and the heaviest by 46 to 120 pounds the Grand Touring RF is another 6 pounds heavier. The heaviest soft top, a Grand Touring equipped with an automatic transmission, weighed 2,383 pounds. The lightest was a 2,309 pound 6-speed manual club. This 6-speed RF weighed a reasonable 2,429 pounds, in part because the hood, the deck lid, the front fenders, and the forward roof panel are aluminium, and the sail panels are molded plastic. Playing with gravity, curious about how the Miata's center of gravity height migrates according to top material and position, we logged these measurements, ND Club soft top with the roof up down, 18.517.5 inches, ND Club RF with the roof up down, 19.518.0 inches, bottom line, Drop the top when you compete in gym carners. Even though this car is almost exactly 100 pounds heavier than the first NDMX5 we tested two years ago, it set the same 0 to 60 mph time of 6.1 seconds and an identical 14.8 second quarter mile sprint at 93 miles per hour. The quickest MX5 we've seen is our current long term soft top, which leapt to 60 in 5.8 seconds clipping 0.2 second off the quarter mile ET while adding 1 mile per hour to the above trap speed. In summary, you could cover the acceleration performance range for all 7 of the MX-5S we've tested with a baby's blanket. Top gear 30 to 50 mph passing times vary between 8.4 and 10.7 seconds, with this heavier RF toward the slow end with a 9.6 second time. The same is true of the top gear 50 to 70 mph run, which also takes 9.6 seconds, versus the soft tops 8.4 second best and 10.6 second worst. For the record, the 6 speed automatic, which offers expeditious downshifts, obviously beats the manuals with its 3.4 second jump from 30 to 50 miles per hour and its 4.5 second hop from 50 to 70. Retractable data, all MX-5S exhibits some body roll at the cornering limit, part of the car to driver dialogue Mazda engineers baked into the recipe.
the bodies list is noticeable only when you ring the last miles per hour out of a traffic circle, and it's never that objectionable. On back roads, the limit arrives in the form of slightly squilly understeer after you've used up your 0.89 grams grip allotment. The RF's extra weight and higher center of gravity had little or no influence on the skid pad performance, which fell exactly in the middle of the 0.88 to 0.90 grams we've measured on Softop MX5S. Credit the 20545R17 Bristone Potenza S001 tires for hanging tight. The largest performance change we noted was in braking, where the club RF stopped from 70 miles per hour in a longish 171 feet, versus the 158 to 159 feet we logged for four of the roadsters we've tested. There was no significant deviation in successive stops or any hint of fade. In fact, this MX-5's high, hard, and easily modulated brake pedal is one of its most endearing features. The club's longer stopping distances likely can be chalked up to an anomaly or an especially dusty surface on that day, because the Grand Touring RF stopped in 161 feet. Mazda wisely refrained from packing its myotas with weighty sound deadening, to help extract maximum zing from the MX-5's naturally aspirated 2.0-litre inland fur. This is a spirited power plant with 155 horsepower on tap at 6,000 revolutions per minute, no turbocharger to take the edge off the exhaust note, and a 6,800 revolutions per minute red line. The engine's secret weapon is a hearty low end with sufficient thrust above 3,000 revolutions per minute so that the boomy resonance that arrives beyond 5,000 revolutions per minute can be saved for special occasions. As in the convertibles we've tested, the RF registered an urticling 88 decibels at full throttle, settling down to 75 decibels during cruising. In sixth, with the throttle eased back, the driveline growl combines with tire and wind noise to make you thankful that Mazda equipped this RF with a powerful 9-speaker Bose sound system as standard equipment. Bottom line, the RF really isn't any quieter in normal use than the Softop MX-5. The sports car life. Some of the pain inherent to classic sports cars clearly is alive and well here. Even with both windows up, the wind will tie your hair in knots any time you venture beyond 50 miles per hour with the roof panels stowed. The cockpit provides rudimentary cup holders and a small cubby space to stash your keys and phone, but it has no door pockets or traditional glove box. The 12 volt power source for radar detectors and navigation units is hidden at the far forward reaches of the passenger's foot. Well, in truth, all myotas are throwbacks, with creature comforts held to the bare minimum. This keeps the focus on pure driving joy delivered with every snick of the shifter and each increment of steering lock. When Mazda introduced this vast improvement on the archetypal British sports car nearly 30 years ago, the world became a genuinely better place. Having a choice between two styles of convertible top only seconds at motion.